Let's now discover six incredible facts about history and culture that will surprise you. Let's start. Number one, tracing the roots of the Olympic games. Welcome to our journey back in time to ancient Greece, where the Olympic games began as a religious festival honoring Zeus. Imagine it's 776 BC in Olympia, where athletes, poets, and philosophers gather amid the lush landscapes to showcase human excellence. These early games featured competitions like foot races, long jumps, and discus throws, all performed in the nude, celebrating the human body and spirit. Victors were heroes, earning nothing more than a simple olive leaf crown and lifelong glory, a far cry from today's gold medals. The games were held every four years, and this period, known as an Olympiad, was so significant it was used to measure time. As the Roman Empire adopted and then Christianized, the original pagan festival faded, leading to a cessation of the games in 393 AD. Fast forward to 1896, when the Olympic Games were revived in Athens, inspired by the ancient traditions but adapted to a modern world. Today's Olympics are a global phenomenon, uniting countries in a peaceful competition, yet they still echo the ancient values of excellence and respect. Thank you for joining this historical exploration, and remember, every time the Olympics are held, we're reviving a piece of ancient history. Number 2. Welcome to our journey into the past, where today we uncover the fascinating process of coin making in ancient times. Imagine a world without banks or paper money. Here, coins were not just money, but works of art. In ancient civilizations, like Greece and Rome, coins were made by striking. A process both simple and intricate. First, metals were mined. Silver, gold, and bronze were the popular choices, integral for the creation of coins. These metals were then heated until molten and cast into thin sheets. The thickness determined the coin's denomination. The top die was then struck with a heavy hammer, impressing the design onto the flan, transforming it into a coin. Next, a blank metal disc, known as a flan, was placed between these dies. This was the crucial moment. This manual striking method required precision and strength, ensuring each coin was a testament to craftsmanship. Over time, techniques evolved but the essence of creating something valuable and enduring remained constant through the ages. Thank you for joining us in exploring the ancient art of coin making. Remember, each coin holds a story, etched in metal. Number 3. The Sweet Journey of Chocolate Through Time Welcome to our journey through the delicious and rich history of chocolate, an indulgence cherished around the globe. Chocolate's story begins over 3,000 years ago in ancient Mesoamerica, now Mexico. The Olmecs, one of the earliest civilizations in Latin America, were the first to turn the cacao plant into chocolate. They used it to create a beverage. Unlike the sweet chocolate we know today, this drink was bitter, as sugar was unknown to the Olmecs. The Mayans inherited this tradition and revered cacao so deeply that they called it the food of the gods. For them, it wasn't just a food, but a powerful symbol in religious rituals. Skilled artisans, called engravers, would then carve detailed designs into blocks of iron or bronze to create dyes. Then came the Aztecs, who valued cacao beans so highly that they used them as currency. For the elite, chocolate was enjoyed as a luxury drink, spiced with vanilla and chili. The designs often featured current rulers, deities, or symbols, each telling a story or marking an era. When the Spanish conquistadors arrived in the New World, they were introduced to this exotic beverage and brought it back to Europe in the 16th century. Once in Europe, sugar and honey were added to sweeten the bitter brew, transforming it into the chocolate drink that became popular among the aristocracy. The Industrial Revolution brought machines that made it easier to produce chocolate. This democratized chocolate, making it affordable and accessible to everyone. In 1847, the first solid chocolate was created in England. This was a pivotal moment that led to the development of the chocolate bar. The 20th century saw the rise of famous chocolate brands. These companies innovated and competed, leading to the myriad varieties of chocolates we enjoy today. Today, chocolate is a global phenomenon, an essential part of culinary cultures worldwide. It's used in drinks, desserts, and even in health and beauty products. As we've seen, chocolate has come a long way from its origins as a sacred drink of ancient civilizations to the beloved treat we enjoy today. And who knows what the future holds for chocolate. Number 4. Welcome to our journey through time as we explore the greatest inventions of ancient Egyptians, a civilization renowned for its ingenuity. First up, the Pyramids of Giza, not just monumental tombs but also engineering marvels. These structures demonstrated sophisticated knowledge of mathematics and construction techniques. The invention of papyrus comes next. Before paper, 
Egyptians created papyrus from the pith of the plant, revolutionizing how information was recorded and shared. Let's not overlook the calendar. The ancient Egyptian calendar, based on the moon and the star Sirius, guided agricultural and ceremonial life, predating our modern calendar by centuries. In terms of transportation, the sailboat was an Egyptian innovation that harnessed the power of the wind, transforming river travel and boosting trade and communication. Water clocks were another significant invention. Known as clepsydras, these devices measured time by the flow of water, playing a crucial role in both daily and ritual activities. The Egyptians were pioneers in medicine too. They had a detailed understanding of herbal remedies and surgical techniques, documented extensively in the Ebers papyrus. The concept of organized labor also originated in ancient Egypt. The building of the pyramids was one of the first large-scale implementations of structured workforce management. Personal adornment was revolutionized with the creation of glass. The Egyptians were among the first to make glass beads, adding colorful decoration to their already vibrant culture. In the realm of agriculture, the shaduf was a crucial invention. This hand-operated device for lifting water significantly improved irrigation and agricultural productivity. Architecturally, the column structures developed in Egypt influenced global design principles. These load-bearing columns were not only functional but also aesthetically significant. Lastly, their language contributions cannot be ignored. Hieroglyphics, the writing system of ancient Egypt, provided a basis for future script development. As we wrap up, it's clear that the ingenuity of the ancient Egyptians has left a lasting impact on the world, influencing various aspects of modern life. Join us next time as we uncover more fascinating historical insights. Number 5. Exploring the Mysteries of the Great Wall of China Welcome to our journey through the mysteries and marvels of the Great Wall of China, an architectural wonder that stretches further than the eye can see. Did you know that the Great Wall is not a single, unbroken structure? It is actually a series of walls and fortifications, built across different dynasties. Contrary to popular belief, the Great Wall cannot be seen from space with the naked eye. This myth has been debunked by astronauts and scientists alike. The main purpose of the Great Wall was defense. It protected the Chinese states and empires against raids and invasions from various nomadic groups from the Eurasian steppe. The construction of the Great Wall started as early as the 7th century BC. However, the most well-known sections were built by the Ming dynasty between the 14th and 17th centuries. Surprisingly, the Great Wall is made from a variety of materials, including earth, wood, bricks, and stone, depending on the resources available in different regions. Laborers who built the wall were a mix of soldiers, peasants, rebels, and even prisoners. It's estimated that millions of people worked on the wall over several centuries. Many workers who died during the construction were buried within the wall itself, leading to legends that the wall is the world's largest graveyard. The length of the Great Wall, with all its branches and sections, extends over 13,000 miles. That's more than half the circumference of the Earth. Sections of the Great Wall are adorned with watchtowers, troop barracks, garrison stations, and signaling capabilities through means of smoke or fire, demonstrating advanced military tactics of ancient times. Today, the Great Wall is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the world. However, parts of the wall are in ruins and need preservation efforts. Ending our tour, the Great Wall not only showcases China's historical strength and architectural genius but also stands as a symbol of its cultural significance and enduring legacy. Join us next time as we explore another fascinating piece of history. Number 6. The Transformation of Europe by the Black Death Welcome to our deep dive into one of history's most transformative events, how the Black Death changed Europe. Let's explore the profound impacts of this devastating plague. The Black Death, arriving in Europe in 1347, was a turning point in European history, reshaping societies in ways that were unimaginable before its arrival. It started with trading ships from the Black Sea docking in Sicily, carrying with them an invisible and deadly cargo, the bubonic plague. The plague spread like wildfire across Europe, claiming the lives of an estimated 25 million people, nearly one-third of the continent's population. This staggering loss of life led to severe labor shortages, disrupting agriculture and industry, which forced significant economic changes. With fewer workers available, surviving laborers found new leverage to negotiate wages, leading to improved living conditions for the peasant class. The dramatic reduction in population also resulted in surplus housing and lower rent prices, altering living standards and accelerating urban migration. Culturally, the Black Death spurred a shift in artistic expression. Artists began to focus more on darker, more introspective themes, reflecting the general mood of society. 
Religiously, the widespread suffering and massive death toll shook people's faith in the church, which struggled to provide reasons or solace during the crisis. In response to decreasing faith in traditional religious institutions, there was a noticeable uptick in the popularity of mystical and heretical movements. Politically, the plague led to the destabilization of many European states, with weakened feudal systems eventually giving way to stronger central governments. In conclusion, the Black Death was a catalyst for a series of changes in Europe, setting the stage for the modern era with its profound social, economic, and cultural transformations. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more insightful explorations into pivotal moments in history that shaped our world. Leave more curious facts in the comments, like, share and follow the channel. Until the next video.